Hello, it's Bill of Colorado 4 x 4 van. Thought I'd give you guys an update. Uh, it's been slow going. Busy at work, busy at home. Everything's busy. So, But the boys and girls and I got out here to uh, get some running in and some swimming and that kind of stuff for about an hour this morning. So I'll give you an update of what I've been up to. Guess I'll start with the light switches here. These are some light switches I found that I think I'm going to use. They're a touch screen and you turn them on and you slide to dim. You can also use the arrows to dim and you can also turn that beeping noise off. But a total flat touch screen and I've had them hanging here. I'm just kind of deciding whether I want to use them and I think I will. They, they seem to be seem to work really well, be responsive and all that. If you don't know me, I hate touch screens. I uh, hate my iPad. I don't have an iPhone. I don't like. I like things that buttons that work. I don't like to get fingerprints. I'm dirty all the time. I don't like any of that. But these seem to be pretty responsive, and they haven't gotten dirty, even though they're white. I've been turning on and off, you know, for quite a while now. I saw the plastic on, true, but they seem to be pretty good and clean up pretty easy. So I think I'm going to go with those. But the main thing I did, I got one day off in the middle of about two weeks ago and I uh, started the sheeting so there's been a lot of shaving of the uh, uh, the uh, insulation that sticks out too far you can see some of it's here it's all over the floor it's everywhere but uh, got these first three there are four panels lengthwise and that'll be the same for the walls and then there'll be two on each end and I got the first three of the four on the ceiling up and as I went I uh, installed the lights you saw the switches I have these two over the sink installed too and uh, put the trim for the fan on um, so I've been doing everything as I go along just to make sure I want to test everything make sure that everything works before I cover it up permanently because the last thing I want to do is have to tear it apart and fix something so I'm making sure everything works as I go, which slows it down, but now I have better light in here, so it's easier to work. Next thing I've been working on is the electronics, same thing. I wanted to make sure everything worked. Um, I painted my speaker grills white. There's the other one back there. I like that better, even though I don't have anything. This isn't final painted or trimmed or anything yet, but uh, I wanted to get as much set up as I could. So I put my door handle on here, and this is the dumbest thing I've done yet. Totally stupid. Do all that measure and get everything right to not realize till the end that it overlaps by half an inch. So I was off by half an inch. But at any rate, I got it to work, and we'll clean it up, and I'll, I'll trim this out so it looks nice and all that. But yeah, that's a dumbass moment so far. So I got my color control all hooked up. Initially, I was going to just use the dongle, the the Bluetooth dongle, but that only runs the only show the solar on your phone. And as I said, I don't have a smartphone anyway, so I didn't want to go that route in the end. So I got the color control, and uh, that shows you, uh, you know, you got your. If you've probably seen these, but you got your solar, which is zero. It's in the shop. Batteries 100%. DC power is using this amount. That's the lights and this and the and the temperature control is run full time um, so that's all worked out great everything I plug into it it automatically senses it um, you can go to different screens see different things so yeah, it's pr it's a pretty neat little I guess it's a toy more than anything but at least I'll eventually be able to hook up my tank monitor for my freshwater tanks under here to it so I'll see how much water I have left and things like that and to go with that you know I got the solar charger inside here that you've already seen and I got my multi plus and this is a uh, this is a pretty a pretty big deal it's the biggest part of the system by far and uh, right now it doesn't 
it doesn't do a whole heck of a lot I should say I mean it it's an inverter charger combo there the inverter came on and you see up here when that turns on this change to inverting you got zero watts in zero watts out because it's not hooked up to anything um, when I plug it into shore power I have my thousand watt uh, Honda generator here and that's what I've been using that's for the van and everything but you have to be careful when that's on eco throttle it idles real low to keep it quiet when this is first turned on to charge your power input surges up to about 650 watts right away before it settles into where it needs to charge and that it surges up faster than the eco throttle can throttle up so it will it'll cycle on and off you can see here we've got the charger side so this cycle on and off, here's the inverter side. And it uh, won't be a problem if you're plugged into shore power uh, that's on all the time, but when you have a generator, it, it, uh, it doesn't sense enough power, so this will shut down. And then it'll try again and try again. So um, it eventually gets there, but yeah, that's something I didn't realize. It surges quite a bit to start out, and then it, and then it simmers down to whatever charge level it needs. And you've got um, bulk absorption float and then storage is the lowest level of charge and e but even at storage level it's about 45 watts to run to run this unit so you know it's going to be something that i will use occasionally the inverter will be the main thing i use because it has a really nice uh pure sign inverter in built into it also and a transfer switch that's built into it so if I'm running my generator and we have computers going or something in here plugged in and for some reason the generator somebody kicks the cord out or it runs out of gas this will switch over in 20 milliseconds to the inverter so even computers won't see uh, won't notice a loss of power so it automatically switches over um, it's got a 3000 watt inverter in it and uh, that comes on automatically so running the microwave some other things I'm going to run that's the main thing I'll use it for. The uh, shore power will probably rarely be used. I hope to rely 99% on the solar. So that's what I'm doing there. So that's, and this is all temporarily hooked up. And you can see how big this is. It's about 14 inches tall, about 8 inches deep, and about 10 inches wide. This thing weighs, the weight on it says 50 pounds, but it feels heavier. <laughs> so anyway, it's very heavy, and it's kind of big. Um, so I'm, I'm getting these things just to uh, get my layout under the bed figured out. I'm running out of space. Um, somebody wrote in that I should, you know, I could use uh, some different uh, devices that are more usable in American campers, um, like instant hot propane water heaters, things like that. And I have one of those, but I'm not going to use it in here. A couple of reasons. The efficiency isn't as good. Um, you have to vent that out and you have to make a custom vent to get that unless you use it outside. Um, but mainly, it's a space issue. I have, basically to the end of that cabinet will be the bed back. And I've already ditched the third water tank. I may have to ditch my third propane tank because I'm going to have, well, it's going to fill up in a hurry. You can see the batteries. The sub, I got the smallest I could find. That'll mount to the wall basically like it sits there. The batteries are this big now, but I may have to add two more. You never know. So you got to save space for that. I have this thing that's going to mount to the front wall. <clears throat> the two big water tanks are going to be here. The propane tanks are going to be over here. All the water related items will be in that corner. Pump and uh, all the associated items, valves and all that stuff will be over there. I'm hoping to get a Truma combination water heater furnace that will sit just in that little space right there. And that'll save me a lot if I can get that. And it looks like I found a solution. One of my uh, subscribers who's in England has written me uh, privately and got me prices. And even though they don't ship to the U.S., he's offered to, uh, if I get it shipped to him, he'll then ship it to me. And the prices look very reasonable. So once I get this sheeted and get this cross wall built here, so I know exactly what space I have, I'm going to get that going. And then I should have the major pieces I need to figure out exactly my layout under here. Because I not only have to get it in there, but it has to be able to be worked on when it's under there. I have to be able to get to these things to service them and maintain them so, and replace them if necessary. 
So yeah, it's a, uh, it's a game of Tetris under there. So that's the reason why I don't even want to go a Malago water heater and a Propex heater furnace system because having two, two different systems will take up more space and it's harder to get to the two different systems to work on them. So I'm trying everything I can to get that Truma that's all in one unit that's about the same size as the Malago water heater, a little bit bigger, and will sit right there where it'll be easy to get to. You only have to get to the back side to service it. So I'm hoping to get that. And then if I do, the control for that will go right here. And that'll be the final piece of equipment to go on this cabinet door here. But anyway, that's all I've had the time to do. I've uh, checked this stuff out, run it, made sure everything works. And like I said, none of this is permanently wired. I only temporarily wired everything up just to make sure it works. And then I'll take it apart when I do finish the build out. But uh, yeah, I'll do more in-depth video on uh, the electrical system once I have it finished out. And I can show you all the features real easily. But I just wanted to give you guys something to show that I am doing some things. They're little and it's taken forever. But I am doing some things. And uh, hopefully next month I'll have a, a better video with more done. Until next time. Yeah, I'm about to party, I'm about to party.